Hello and welcome to Stress Less. My name is Sharon Stiles and I'm going to teach you some simple but effective ways of reducing the stress in your life, whether that's at home, whether it's at work, at school or a mixture. Sometimes we put our minds under a lot of pressure. We keep throwing things at them and expect them to be able to deal with it, whatever we throw at them. If we work our bodies hard, we usually pamper them a little bit, give them a bit of a rest, even if it's just having a sit down for a while. But we very rarely do anything similar with our minds. So I'm going to help you learn how to pamper your mind a bit, give it a bit of a rest occasionally. Now stress isn't all bad. A little bit of stress is good, it keeps your mind and your body active. It's when you have too much of it that it becomes a problem. Our stress response comes from those bad old days when saber-toothed tigers were a big problem. So all our stress responses are built up around either running away from something or standing up and fighting. What happens is that you produce adrenaline in your body. Now adrenaline increases your heartbeat, it dilates your blood vessels so the blood stays around your vital organs. It shuts down secondary processes in your body like digestion. Uh, you might find that you get tunnel vision because your mind is focusing entirely on the problem and doesn't want to be distracted by other things. Then what happens is you get cortisol. Now cortisol increases your blood sugar, so it gives you more energy to run away if you need to or to fight if you need to. And it also helps to convert your bone and muscle into energy as well. So that's where we have that fight or flight reaction. And that's how our bodies were originally designed to deal with stress. Nowadays, of course, a lot of our stress is mental and we don't need all that physical reaction to it. It could be that you've got a difficult boss, it could be you're stuck in traffic, it might be that you feel you're not in control of things or you need to keep up with people. None of those you can run away from or fight against. For that you need mental action and unfortunately all our stress responses aren't very help helpful in that. So now you see where all those stress symptoms come from. Upset stomach, IBS, feeling sick, not hungry, feeling edgy, irritable, feeling fatigued. And if you keep building up all those chemicals in your body all the time and are unable to release them, then you'll find that you can end up with blood sugar problems, weight gain, irritability and fatigue long term. So I'm going to help you stay away from those problems by teaching you those ways that you can reduce your stress and stress less.